Awesome, awesome. Big ups to Denmark, Kai Haxon. Hope you're doing well over there, man. Scribe listening post mid spur. Singularity formed, its creators uplifted into something beyond our understanding. These beings, now known as the Lexites, left Earth, traveling to multiple planets in our solar system before vanishing altogether. This is why we are here. Welcome to Star Control. Wait, what? State of the art international space agency tasked with the exploration of our solar system and the defense of Earth. Here resides the world's brightest minds and greatest technology, brought together by a strong curiosity to discover the unknown. Help us pioneer the future. Join today. A lot of guns on that little ship. Hmm. Cool. Okay. New game. Uh, Arky Woo, no, we just started, dude. What's up, Ice Cool? Hello, hello. We hey, Bamboo. This is an alien transmission. And this is originating from where exactly? Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, hold on, time out. I really want to watch that. Star control is time to get started. Try not to lose it. One sec. Of... Main menu. There's got to be uh, some subtitles, right? Uh, where are the subtitles? This can't be right. Okay, I guess there are not subtitles. Well, sucks if you can't hear, I guess. Screw you, deaf people. <laughs> and this is originating from where exactly? It's local. Triton. Recall the captain. Tell what year is it again? He He's still on administrative leave from the incident. That no longer matters. He's the only one qualified to command the prototype Vindicator. It's text-based? That didn't look very text-based to me. <laughs> Kill Carnage. Captain Kill Carnage, you've been recalled to duty. Please report to the UES Vindicator. No. UES. Let those paw. Uh, mission difficulty. I guess normal? I have n I don't think I, I have no idea what this means. I'm gonna go ahead and do normal for now.
do do do. The last of the crew and supplies should be coming over to you shortly, Captain. Time to get started. Star Control is ordering you to travel to Triton and investigate the alien radio signal that's originating there. Okay, what do we know about the radio signal? It's just a series of regular pulses at 1.42 gigahertz. That's the hydrogen line, in case you've forgotten your radio astronomy. Some very excitable men in glasses are pretty sure if aliens ever try contacting us, they'll do it on that frequency. Okay. They are substantially less certain why aliens might be on one of Neptune's moons, though. What should I do when I reach Triton? Scan its surface from orbit. If you find the signal, send one of your ship's landers down to the surface to examine it further. If it is an alien, you are ordered to not die and tell us right away. Okay. Should I attempt to make contact? If you believe it's safe to do so, yes. Just please be careful, Captain. Uh, does this supersede our mission to investigate the Lex sites? Not entirely. Their departure is the whole reason we have a star control in the first place. Your mission to Triton takes priority, but if you do discover anything concerning the Lexites, you should tell us right away. Do we know why the Lexites left? We still have no idea. For post-humans, or whatever they call themselves, they sure didn't talk about themselves as much as us original versions like to. We've combed over their facility on the moon, hoping to find some hints, but haven't found anything. They never seemed to be upset with us, or expressed any great unhappiness with their situation on Earth. Which is maybe surprising, considering some of the abuse they took. My theory? They got bored with us. Bored with human affairs. Maybe bored of our smell. So wait, wait, wait. So there was a singularity, which is like a, that's just a sci-fi idea. And then when the singularity happened, not all the humans got lifted, only some of them. And then. No, 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 no. The singularity is, it's a, it's a sci-fi term. It's, it's not like, well, there's like a singularity, like a black hole. But then, no, what did they call it again? Um, there's, there's, um, okay, apparently people are just telling me to keep playing. I'm just gonna keep playing. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Uh, do we know where they went? After they left Earth in 2085. Yeah, they're not talking about black hole singularity. There, while, there's, go read William Gibson. <laughs> so they're out there somewhere. Are the lexites dangerous? Well, they're essentially human, so yes. But even during the chaos of their exodus, when they were stealing our launch craft, they went to great lengths to avoid harming anyone. Still, they obviously have access to technology we've never even contemplated. If you do run into them, be careful, Captain. Oh, okay. Oh, by the way, okay, one of the devs just notified me. The subtitles are actually always on, but they got missed in the English version. It has since been patched to Steam, but hasn't made it to GOG yet. Okay, well, that makes a lot more sense. Thank you. That seems super weird. <laughs> so I, I really appreciate that. Well, there, but even still, they, if you do run into okay. them, that's enough about be the careful, sites. Captain. Sure, Captain. The thing I'm wondering about is like, um, so... Like, did, did they super evolve? Do they look human? Are they actually, uh... Hmm. We'll have to, we'll have to look into this. Let's go. Star Control has accelerated the... It's the fastest, most expensive ship humanity has ever made, Captain. Try not to lose it. Okay, I'll try to try. It's also equipped with our latest resource collection landers, which I would encourage you to make heavy use of. We used up a lot of materials to make that thing. If we want to make any more Vindicator-class vessels, we're going to need you to collect the resources to do it. Looks like you've got everything stowed away now, Captain. You're all set. Good luck, and please hurry. Okay. There are a lot of people down on Earth anxious to find out what's going on. Uh, Kilt Knife, I don't plan on playing Kingdom Hearts for uh, at least a few weeks. A couple to a few weeks, so yeah. Yeah, just, just a heads up. Hmm. I'm assuming we're following the big orange diamond. Maybe, hopefully.
Don't. Captain, we've located the source of the radio signal. It looks like there's a crashed ship down there. We should take a lander down to investigate. Okay. Boop. Nice. Resource collected. Press tab to view your inventory and fleet status screen. Cool. It's like the lander from Andromeda. Oh, there it is. Whoa. You actually came. I can't tell you how sweaty we are to see you. Who are you? Your friends? Maybe? I am Chief Viscosity Officer Wimdu of the Taiwan. Like this little drink he's got over here? <laughs> nice to meet you, Wimdu. I'm a human of Earth. You think it's... Nice to meet me? That's a wonderful change from the usual disgust and contempt we receive when meeting new species. What are you doing on Triton, Wimdu? It's a funny story. you like it. It starts with these guys called the Scribe. They're the ones who shot us down. They're kind of our friends. Why'd they shoot you down, then? They hail us. Not great friends, really. More accurately, they are our masters and the rulers of a cruel empire that we are forced to serve. Okay, that's... It's about the opposite of friends. Um, but what are you doing here? We're actually trying to protect you from the scribe. We began receiving your radio transmissions about 50 years ago. You're a fascinating species. And because we knew the scribe would destroy you if they found you, we've been keeping you a secret from them. At least we were, until a few months ago. The scribe had evidently received traces of your radio broadcasts themselves. They dropped some pretty terrifying hints that they were looking for you. We were on our way here to stall them, which we did. By getting shot down by them. Hence the distress call. We better get back to Earth and warn them about these Scribe. You probably should. The Scribe are looking for you in this area of space. They don't know exactly where you are, but they will find you. Not a lot of humans are going to survive that process. The good news is, we can help you. If you help us first. Most of our systems were squished when we dropped out of hyperspace. Our hyperwave radio was one of them, which is why we had to call for help the old-fashioned way. Also, half of our entire ship fell off. Now we might actually be able to repair all that damage, but we will definitely need that other half of our spaceship back. You can fix half of your ship falling off? We can? I don't want to bore you with all the little technical details. Simply put, we are really good at our jobs here. You look like you're incredibly good at your jobs. Thanks. Where'd the other half of your ship, uh, where'd the other half of your ship go? It went down on a planet somewhere in your solar system. I'm not sure where precisely. All planets look the same when you're crying. <laughs> Though if I had to guess, I'd it's say it was like life. one of your larger, bluer worlds. Also, 
We lost a couple of hyperdrive modules. We'll definitely need those if we want to not starve to death far from home. Those definitely went down somewhere in your inner solar system. I know this is a lot to ask. But finding all of this shouldn't be a problem for a ship with both its halves. <laughs> um. By the way, I just, I just got notified right now. The title has been updated. This Thursday, we will be taking a special first early, early look at Fist of the North Star. On Thursday! Woo! Okay, anyway, sorry. I'm pretty pumped about that. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I am very hyped for that. After reading more about Fist of the North Star, it's basically... It's the Yakuza games with more violence, apparently more ridiculousness. It's post-apocalyptic. There's racing. There's mini games. There's apparently a you can run a club. Like, <sighs> okay. Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna have to see. Is it the same devs? Uh, it, it. I'm not entirely sure. I. I do not know. Maybe. Uh, yeah, it is the same devs. I'd have to look. It's the Yakuza Kiwami 2 devs. Yes. Yes. Oh! What's it called? Fist in the North Star. Okay, anyway, no, I'm going to focus on this game for now. Because I'm having a lot of fun with this. But yeah, I just got that. Just got told that. So I wanted to let you guys know. Alright, here we go. Um, Yeah, let's go find a ship. Great! We will give you so many hugs if you manage to succeed. I like this guy. He's nice. Sounds good. Great. Okay. So before I go, I want to fill up like all of our... Okay. I want to fill up all of our cargo hold or whatever. We have 41 spots free. Let's just get everything we can. And then we'll head out. Man, this little vehicle is having a rough time on this planet. Can I jump or something? What are, what are my controls? Boost is shift, reverse is S. Oh, we can strafe. That's pretty cool. No, there's no jumping of any kind. Okay. Okay, cool. Can I do anything with these? Oh, yes and no. Okay. Oh, wait, are we full? Okay, that's the full sound. Oh, jump is an upgrade. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Oh, we can't land on that. Okay. Whoa, I just wanted my controls, bro. Um, let's go look over here. Crystal. Okay. I don't know what that landing mini game is. Apparently, there's there's some kind of mini game associated with that. Maybe if you like go outside of it, you take damage or something. Ship. Cool. Oh, 
I don't know why we're getting these resources, but y'all know how I roll. I, I want resources. <laughs> so I don't I don't know why, but I want them. So. Oh man, look at this one. It's tiny. Uranium. Oh, that's francium. Okay. Oh, oh, the things disappear when you get them all. Okay. Cool. Hydrocarbons. So this has to be uranium, right? Yep, that was all the uranium. Okay. Okay. Oh, we did a backflip. We should get points for that. Oh, that's it. Congrats on the new baby. Thanks, Jukebox. Appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. Ganymede. Whoa. Oh, there's an unidentified object here. So maybe this is it. I grant thee two cool space points for the backflip. Oh, thanks, bro. I appreciate that. Super nice of you. this thing is that Russian looks like an old Russian space probe captain it's neat but not much we can do with it <laughs> okay big fan of my Russian friends I mean they got a probe on Ganymede that's impressive Okay, we know that we can't land on uh, the gas giant. Sir, okay. we're detecting an unidentified object on the surface. We may Don't care going in. Oh my lord, what is this storm? shirts nice um well that's a thing am i actually having another kid yes my wife is pregnant yes uh the due date is in april and uh that's all we know right now pretty much oh is that my corpse okay so we can't go in the storm This is a heck of a thing, Captain. We found some kind of monument here. At least, I think it's a monument. It's a big, multicolored slab of metal with odd protrusions sticking out of it. Balls and sticks, kind of. There's text on it, or graffiti. Pictures of aliens fighting? I'm honestly not sure. No human language, Thank anyways. you guys so much. Not much we can do with it, but admire it. And done. We'll just leave this here, then. That That's how long it took him to admire it? And done. It's been admired. We found that monument again, Captain. At least uh, we found that monument. We found that monument again, Captain. There's not much we can do with it, but admire it. And done. And admired. Okay, great. Oh god. 
So what happens if I run out of landers? <laughs> he asks concerningly. I wonder if I can build more or something. Oh god, Captain, look at the this. weather on this planet will make landing very difficult. We'll need better landers to manage it. Oh, I do not like the look of this planet. Hell no. Okay, nope. I'm gonna go back to Earth. I wanna see if can I can I like buy better landers or I'm I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Apparently did it land on a planet or did it land on a moon? Maybe it landed on a planet. I need to check like Mercury and Venus. Let's go over here and dock uh, with this. We also gotta check Saturn's moons. Hail. Captain, you survived. We did. I did! But tell me, Captain, what did you find out on Triton? There was a cool alien there. What? Tell the commander everything, well, not everything, everything pertinent. Well, it sounds like you did the right thing offering to help, Captain. Our exobiologists have been studying the recordings of your conversation with the alien. Based on their word choice, blinking, and overall clamminess levels, we believe that this one was genuinely in fear for his life. So we've come to a Oh, he said around a blue planet? Awesome. We want you to help them. I missed that part. This is too great an opportunity to pass up. Just remain cautious. There's no reason to trust these Taiwan fully just yet. He said he's missing, like, half his ship. Well, if what this Taiwan says about the scribe is even remotely true, I think we need to help. The chance to establish friendly relations with an alien civilization is too great to pass up. Especially if they can in any way help us stop a threat to our civilization. Go find the missing parts of their ship, Captain. They should be around here somewhere. Hey, Ponut, uh, how long did it take you to beat the game, out of curiosity? And also, how would you describe your playstyle? Did you, like, just do the main story? Or did you do everything that you could possibly do? Or, like, what do you think? Before we go, we'll need to resupply a few things. Oh? Like what? A lander. We lost quite a few of our landers. You did? Those aren't cheap, Captain. Neither are the poor guys who drive them. Unfortunately, things are a little tight around here. We've used up almost every resource we have. About 30 hours? Cool. Okay. Even making payroll has been challenging. I have not been too popular around here lately. Return here with any resources you find on your travels. We'll use advanced space accounting practices to determine what we can build with them. This will all be presented to you as resource units, or RU. Which you can then exchange for fuel or other supplies. Is this a budget No Man's Sky? No, this is actually a game. Like this, this, this is a like a beginning to end adventure kind of thing in more of a sandbox. It, yeah. Sell conventionals? I I don't know what I want to sell yet. Oh my! Okay. Um. Well, look at this. What I forget about? I guess that's a good question. Wait, I thought No Man's Sky was redeemed in my eyes. No, no, no. It, it's become more of a game. It's an actual game now. But I mean, it's this is still more of a game than No Man's Sky is, in my opinion. What are you gonna do? Uh. Okay, I don't know what any of this stuff is yet. We're gonna we're gonna wait on this. Manage fleet. Wait, what? I thought this recruit. Okay. Uh, I'm. I think we just got a little bit ahead of ourselves. We'll get back to work. Good luck, Captain. Okay. I'm going to the moon, bros. This is happening. Oh, I have to buy a new lander? Oh, conventionals are vendor trash. Okay, great. Thank you. You mean there's not a moon base on the moon? Oh, wait. Maybe there is. What's this? 
Oh, here we go. Captain, this is the lunar facility the Lexites settled after they first left Earth. We've sent surveyors here before, and I don't think much has changed since then. Not from all the dust I can see. It doesn't look like the Lexites were here long after they arrived in 2085. This was just a staging area they used before traveling elsewhere. No idea where they went after this, but you know that as well as I do. Finding them is why we have a star control in the first place. Captain, there's something powering on here. Blinking lights, humming sounds. There's a computer screen turning on. It says, threat to remnants detected. Lander self-defense technology ready to be used. Insert uranium to power. There's a slot in the device here. Do we have any uranium we can feed this thing? We do? Great. Machine roars to life. Arms pivoting out to plant a new module on your well, it's lander? Well, some kind of laser gun, Captain. Looks like it will fit right on our lander. That was nice of the Lexites. Awesome! Okay. I got a laser now? Hey, Captain. Now that we have a laser gun, why don't we try shooting some rocks with it? In the name of research. Boom! Ooh. Go gold! Gold! I like the like gratuitous earth uh, or gratuitous uh, <laughs> like curvature going on there. It looks like a droopy laser. It's a sad laser. Oh, it's sad. Look at it droop. Oh wait, I honor some silver somewhere. Oh, I can't pick anything else up. Okay, well that was cool. We got some stuff. I like stuff. Stuff's good. Uh, so the thing we needed wasn't there though. Where's a blue planet? Uh, that's not a blue planet. Uh, maybe Neptune or Uranus? Uranus. It's pronounced by the way, chat. Uranus. So don't don't be lewd. Do 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 do. Ah, here we go. Maybe it's this one. Elpis. Bam. Captain, we're det Oh god, mistakes. What's that thing? Ooh. Captain, it's going to be too dangerous entering this place until all these drones are dead or asleep or... Well, they probably don't need sleep, do they? Just dead, then. This is our only lander, so I have to take it kind of slow. Is that all of them? Captain, you're not going to believe it. This looks like it's another Lexite facility. This must be where they went after they left the moon. This is bigger and more well-equipped than their lunar facility. There's equipment here that's clearly intended for constructing a starship, a big one. Oh, this is nuts. There's a star chart here, Captain. Looks like the W-51 giant molecular cloud is highlighted. 
That's like 17,000 light years away. There's more. The radio antenna outside seems to be tracking W51 whenever it's above the horizon. Did the Lexites decipher something in the W51 radio source? Is that where they're going? Or going away from? No Lexites around to ask any questions. Looks like they left in a hurry. There are a lot of spare parts just left lying around. We should notify Earth about this. Wait, here's something. This is... a ship. A small one. Clearly they didn't build the whole hangar for just this. An interceptor, maybe. But it looks incomplete. If I'm reading these engine schematics right, it looks like its thrusters require... neutronium to operate. I don't think we have any of that in this solar system, Captain. I guess that's why the Lexites left this behind. Oh well. Maybe we can hmm. come back to this later. Okay.